Hey guys, it is of course Eugene and I'm back with part three of our build log for Nostromo. I know it's been a little while since the last video and I hope you've been enjoying your holiday season in the meantime. Uh, I had the opportunity to travel out to Malaysia, which I thought was beautiful, uh, inviting, delicious. Uh, and I've also been able to work on Nostromo. I'm happy to say that it's sitting over there, uh, fully operational, allowing me to get some great benchmark scores and to, of course, do some gaming. And I will show you videos of the completed build uh, at the conclusion of this video. But uh, for now, I think that it's best to approach the rest of this build log in a few different segments, covering things like tubing routing, uh, cable management, of course, uh, the Aquero and setting up all the fans, uh, the case mods that go along with that, and we will be breaking that up and making it all digestible and hopefully informative and also fun. Uh, but for now, we will cover the subject matter of my sixth favorite Radiohead album, The Benz. While my aim is to tell you absolutely everything you need to know about bending tubing, if I can convey just one tip, it would be that timeless adage, measure twice, cut once. Here I'm using Primo Chill's PETG tubing and their rigid fittings, and you can see me inserting a small section of tube into a fitting to see how much I'll need to add to my measurements. Then I use the rulers that come with the Monsoon rigid bending kit to determine what the lengths of the tubing should be. Uh, the kit makes the process really simple, and I heartily recommend it. Next, my collaborator and I write down the measurements and draw out the angles on a sheet of butcher paper that I've attached to scrap wood. Uh, you'll see why in a second. I then proceed to cut a length of tube that's approximately the right size, but obviously much bigger than actually necessary. Again, I'm making use of the tools included in the monsoon kit. And next, I attach a 90 degree jig included in the monsoon kit to the piece of scrap wood, matching the angle in the drawing we made. Be sure that the jig uh, follows the angle that you drew out as closely as possible. Then comes a critical part, heating the tube. I like to use a heat gun on low and then hold the tube about three inches away, spinning it like a pig at a luau and moving it back and forth to ensure that the entire length of the bend will be heated to reduce stress on the tube. You'll want to watch for it uh, becoming glassy and being pretty bendy, kind of like a uh, spaghetti noodle or something. Once the tube is heated and sufficiently pliable, bend it around the jig that you placed in the scrap wood and hold it there for 30 seconds to a minute. Uh, it takes it a little while to become rigid again, and once it does, you should have the bend that you intended to make, and hopefully the one that fits your system perfectly. With the first bend looking pretty good, I removed the jig and replaced it in the spot where the second 90 degree bend was supposed to go. Then I just repeated the process, and the result was a tubing run that came out exactly as intended, and one that fit my system. Turning back to the monsoon kit, I use a deburring tool to remove the burrs from the inside and outside of both ends of the tubing run. Just give it a couple of good twists. Then I use some 2000 grit sandpaper to smooth out the end. And that ensures that the O-ring is not damaged by any burrs or uh, any roughness on that tubing. Finally, I measure out the tube to the exact length necessary and proceed to cut.
Remember, you can always take material off, but you can't add any on. So make sure to leave a little extra on both ends and then cut down as necessary or simply sand down the tube. This one, however, looks like a perfect fit. Well, I hope you enjoyed that sliver of what you can expect from the rest of the Nostromo build log. Uh, and I also hope that you found this tutorial on tube bending helpful and effective. Uh, if you have, please subscribe and like this video. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them below. And as always, this has been Eugene Tries.